Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Rohan. In this video, I will be discussing about some of the key differences between data warehouse, data lake and a lake house. So these are very important terminologies and very frequently asked in our interviews you know, these days. I thought I'll make this video so that uh, I really want to help people, those who are looking for job and searching for job and not getting, I thought uh, it will be helpful for them. So let's get started. So let's start with uh, defining uh, each of the systems first and then we can get into differences later. So data warehouse is a centralized you know, fact which contains you know, multiple dimensions to it. So uh, di different dimensions can be like customer, product or time and the central fact can be you know, order sales and everything uh, which are metrics or numbers in nature. So they are all surrounded by the dimensions and centralized fact table. And this is very uh, rigid in structure and uh, the data has to comply uh, before we read and uh, write on the data warehouse. Whereas data lake is a collection of data from variety of sources. It can be uh, data from transactional systems or from any uh, IoT devices or any uh, type of data which is from, coming from external uh, systems. And a lake house is a combination of both uh, but more of transactional in nature. So as soon as there is a, let's assume that there is a source application and we have a lake house which is built. Um, as soon as there is an insert, uh, the data will be loaded to lake house. And as soon as there is an update, insert and update. As soon as there is an update on the source, that data will be uh, getting updated on the lake house. So it's more of transactional nature. And it, it reflects true, uh, you know, image of the source system. So this is the primary uh, in, you know, uh, understanding and data warehouse is primarily used for historical data analytical purposes. Uh, data lake will also be used for historical and analytical but it can also uh, help us with help us pull any latest data set. And even if you want to look at uh, different versions of data then we can use uh, lake house to you know, look at the changes to that particular uh, data. And lake house is primarily used for transactional purposes. This can be a uh, input for our existing data warehouse, and it can be uh, you know serving purpose as an you know, operational you know reports as well. So data on the, from the lake house can be read for multiple purposes. And of course, you can maintain multiple versions of data in uh, lake house as well. All right. So moving on. Uh, like how data is stored on uh, the storage structure. So it's in data warehouse, it's mostly uh, structured data and a tabular. Whereas uh, in uh, data lakes, it can be unstructured or structured or you know semi-structured. It can contain any type of data like CSV or JSON file, XML or any video audio file. Uh, and everything and on the lake house it's a combination of structured and you know semi-structured uh, data and also it can contain raw data as well so these are the primary differences let's let's dig deeper so when it comes to schema schema here it is the schema is very rigid once you you know specify the table format and uh, the data type and length it has to always strictly follow the uh, you know constraints in order to write the data into data warehouse whereas uh, data lake is a schema on read schema on read so while you are writing data you can dump any type of uh, files into data lake but when you are trying to read the data it has to be uh, in a proper schema so that's why it's called schema on read so data warehouse is schema on write and uh, this is on schema on read and lake house can be a combination of schema on read and schema on you know write as well okay so all the three systems provide uh, sql based capabilities and you can even perform any etl so that is allowed in all the three uh, you know type of uh, you know, applications uh, so data warehouse is primarily when it comes to performance it is uh, mainly built for you know high performing you know queries for analytical purposes okay 
and data lake data since we the data is in file system there is no standard schema so the read will be a little slower in case of uh, data lake and uh, in lake house it's kind of balanced because the data is already in the specified format as per the source system and the retrieval would also be much faster there so moving on uh, on the cost so on the cost aspect so this is high um, because we will have to you know have all the database uh, management systems and everything in place so it is uh, data warehouse is going to be a bit uh, higher on the pricing and uh, data lake since it is uh, stored on the file system uh, the cost is you know lower here only when you are querying you will have to apply uh, compute but the storage is very cheaper and uh, lake house since it uses combination of storage and then the compute uh, it's a it, the you know pr pricing the the cost is you know balanced it's medium you can call say medium or it's kind of balanced and when it comes to consistency um, data warehouse has a very strong consistency uh, whereas in data lake it is got in a weaker consistency and uh, lake house is primarily a very strong consistency only if it is structured data okay and uh, when come to you know when comes to in you know, a use case it is data warehouse is primarily used for you know business reporting and uh, data lakes can be used for you know data exploration or some uh, sort of you know big data purposes or any analytical uh, purposes and lake house can be purely uh, used for analytical purposes and also operational use remember i said uh, lake house stores transaction systems so you can even run uh, operational reports and also analytical reports and when it comes to like uh, disadvantages advantages we have already seen so the disadvantage here uh, in data warehouse is uh, flexibility it's not very flexible if the data columns changes or you know removes or you know, new columns gets added then uh, you will have to change the schema structure and existing data will be impacted so it is very you know limited uh, flexibility in terms of data warehouse and higher cost and also uh, the data must be data must be cleaned and transformed properly in order to load the data into data warehouse right and disadvantage of data lake is you know slower we just uh, discussed about it because uh, it's a st storage and uh, also data consistency you know challenges will be there because of the latency and uh, you know the file storage and lake house uh, disadvantages are um, it can be you know complex in nature because it is uh, trying to you know cope up with the source data and there's a lot of you know compute going on uh, in between and also it requires some uh, careful you know management of this uh, lake house uh, especially when it comes to structured data schema and uh, since uh, we are trying to process both insert and updates in real time from the source system the there is a potentially you know uh, higher cost here too so these are some of the differences between these three i hope uh, it was helpful and I wish you all the best for your interview. Uh, good luck. Thank you. Bye-bye.